Arlington, Texas, Oklahoma could already be playoff bound, except Heisman Trophy frontrunner Baker Mayfield and the Sooners have to play in the revived Big 12 championship game, and beat No. 10 TCU for the second time in four weeks. NCAA football on social media join the team. Follow at NCAA football for a league left out of the college football playoff twice in the first three years of the system. The timing of its title game return could be less than ideal. We've known it for a while, and we're excited to play, Oklahoma coach Lincoln Riley said. If they all of a sudden sprung this on us here at the end, you probably wouldn't be real happy about it. It's another chance for us to go play. It's a great thing, I think, for our league to showcase two great football teams going at it. This week, it's for a hashtag champion hashtag beat TCU, Oklahoma football, at OU underscore football. November 27, 2017 The Sooners, 11-1, A-2-1, number 3 CFP, would almost certainly be a lock for one of the four playoff spots even without another win. But a loss could unravel everything the league had hoped for by resuming its championship game after a six-season hiatus. Even TCU coach Gary Patterson acknowledged, when asked this week, that probably the best outcome for the Big 12 is Oklahoma to win. That doesn't mean the Horned Frogs, 10-2. 7-2, number 11 CFP, are going to roll over and clear a playoff path for Oklahoma. Patterson's group relishes the chance to avenge a 38-20 loss in Norman, Oklahoma, just three weeks ago and win a championship, even with no realistic chance of getting in the playoff if they win. I have an obligation to TCU to try to win the game. Period, Patterson said. We feel extremely focused and confident, left tackle Joseph Nothboom said. We just wanted another chance at them. In college football, you don't get really an opportunity to play someone again once you lose a game. Our hashtag DFW products balled out last weekend in the Carter. At home again this week in at its stadium. Pick.twitter.com slash B8TZT2U3, TCU football, at Tka football, December 1, 2017 This is the first time since 1913 that TCU is playing the same opponent twice in the same season. Oklahoma jumped out to a 38-14 lead on November 11 after Mayfield threw two TDs in the final five and a half minutes of the first half. Running back Rodney Anderson accounted for 290 yards, 151 rushing, 139 receiving, and four touchdowns. I don't think either side is going to come in and just totally scrap what they do and change it completely up, Riley said. Both teams have obviously had a lot of success doing what they're doing. College football playoff rankings Clemson jumps to number one, Alabama tumbles Patterson said what his frogs have to change is getting off to a faster start and tackling better. We did not tackle Rodney Anderson at all in the first half, Patterson said. And if we tackle the same way, it won't matter what defensive call we have, it'll look about the same way. Some other things to watch in the Big 12's first championship game since 2010. Fast start.